All right. Um, I want to share with you, but I am trying my best not to share without bringing up people or names or whatever, but man, it is, it's getting so hard to get up in the morning and, sorry, the hard part about getting up is, especially Especially recently, it's every cell in my body awakes. I don't need anything. It would be great to know what exactly is going on. What? There's a few people in my life who have basically cut me out completely, but are they like make reference to these things that I don't know I don't want to talk about it I just want to be able to look at these people and have them look at me and remember that I'm a human being and I'm sorry, but I, I've i been under a form of torture. I don't know what it is that you want to call it, but for someone like me who actually cares for people, If you're watching this and you know any of the people who I might be referring to and it speaks to you to do... I can't spend two and a half hours every morning of my life convincing myself not to figure out how to get to Toronto and find the people I need to find and just like stand in front of them with like a mask over my mouth or a gag or a like I don't know make a sign that says I would prefer not to be speaking some of the stuff that is going on is serious enough that people are advising me to get lawyers or the law involved because of their heart in it. I don't want any of this. I... It's amazing what miscommunication can bring, or like little bits of stressors in each of our lives. There's things that connect me to other people who in the minds of a traumatized person and I'm not calling anyone anything but I know what trauma is like and I'm sure that many other people are dealing with trauma want to look, look at the birds or look at the river, look at the... I don't have to do anything. I don't know why this needs to take hold of what feels like the rest of my life. And I'm trying to be over whatever it is that 
these people need to know that I'm over about, it, it's fine. It doesn't change the fact that I care for these people. And I also care about the fact that their inaction or their direct action is causing This feels like a Doctor Who thing, where it's like, there's points in time that you can never change, and it's like, okay, that's fine, but like, can we not find the individuals and speak with them? Oh, their wishes are this. Okay, well, like, my wishes were to be on some page together, like, from where we started, from... I don't want to talk about, like, it's, these people were more than my family, they, you don't just throw people away, I mean, maybe that's what some people like to do, but I, I prefer not to abandon people, I prefer not to hold judgment towards someone without knowing for a fact that that's what went down. Or maybe my friend's an idiot and he needs to learn that you can't walk into my house and insult my, like, new friend and his culture and, like, maybe you didn't know that you were doing that, but, like, now, now we're all on the same page, and then you know some other things that are very bothersome, like constantly talking about the patriarchy, and constant, like, we're all just trying to live. Anyways, I have to help a friend move some stuff from his workplace. Um, I'm the expert at <laughs> helping people out, getting things out of places that they don't want to be in. For the time being, he doesn't need to be giving me any money because he doesn't have an income and he's my friend and I want to be showing some sort of gratitude towards him. That's always the person that I have been. At times I let other people's frustrations as well build up onto me not screaming out every time that I get in trouble for simple things like my shoes not being in the right place or my bag not being somewhere or the tap not being on or like I didn't have the right conversation at the right time and the right tone with the like I thought that I was clearing the air with some things and maybe I didn't have all the information I don't understand why people don't understand that. We don't all read the same thing. We don't all think the same way. We don't assume that I have read and ingested every type of article that you have. I am a being of love. I am a being of compassion. And I, that has gotten me in trouble because I have 
tried to show compassion to... I forget how evil some people are in the world. Let's just put it at that. I'd light a candle, but I'm sort of digging this silhouette vibe. So to my non associates, to the people who are physically ghosting me with their entire entity and have so much pain and sadness and fear and hatred and whatever reason people are angry and need to send me messages like I'm the most evil person on earth and that like I do people not believe in misunderstandings anymore do people not believe that a truth that could have been known in the past is like I'm not we're, none of us are the same people that we were a year and a half ago or a, several years ago denying people the chance to be at peace with one another it just seems like perpetuating the the evils of the world it's perpetuating the sense of not caring for one another it's you're you're adding to sorry and i'm saying your which is pointing a blame but it's it is adding confusion to the world and not just to the image of who I am and how I feel about myself and how I feel about the pain that I have caused to each and every one of you. I wish that there was something that I could help with, physically help with. Even if it's just tying me up and like, holy shit, do you want a stick to beat me with? can come over every morning and beat the shit out of me, if you'd like. I don't know what is better. It feels awful to wake up as early as I did today and to finally get the courage to even come out of bed, let alone anything else. And I'm making this video to try and voice to some of these people that, like, I physically need to clear the air with people. I don't have enemies. I don't try to have enemies. I, if I have them, I'm honestly freaking shocked. And the people that I know who are putting stuff into the world are coming from a place where... That's a whole other... That's that's a very specific other story. And... It mostly has to do with the fact that someone was not on their medication, and I was doing my best to protect myself and them, and try and... ceremonies we we had such a lovely time together and it's just she wasn't on her medication she was saying things like i was abducting her okay like i i don't know what the current state of mind that People hear about this as though it's some sort of like elderly, it's a 
human being who is more than capable to be on her own. And she made a friend. We went on a bit of a trip together. She grieved for the her son. We had a whole day devoted to Saint Joseph. Okay, because we were on the beach and no, we made a crow friend. I did the harmonica for it. We found an opal ring that I later found again because my friend had dropped it because she is like that. And I wore it and used it and blessed it in the river. And I, I know now that putting my trust in people who might not be trustworthy is maybe what, trying to involve others to show my... I shouldn't have given her back the room, she lost it, and it was... Important to me. Put a lot of energy into that to try and make a piece off of it. And another piece off of it. But it was there that day that this was supposed to be And I don't want it anyway, so. So, um, after our last ceremony, and we graduated to another color, and were given <laughs> our agenda to bring peace from that type of nature tonight and tomorrow, as I entered my day of silence, things ramped up quite a bit, and I even, there was even somebody that came by where we were at, at one point, and it seemed like things were alright at that point, because I, I was thinking she could have gotten in the car with him at that point, but it, Hey, we're pen pals, right? So. I just kind of feel awful to let him know that what what's being done in her name is bringing more grief to the family. It's bringing. confusion to the masses. People are leaving my friendship physically. Leaving friendships. I don't know who this person has contacted. There is a lot of stuff going on that if you want me to admit that I had a hand in the fact that I was there and I kept her from running into a dangerous road while... If you, if, if you want to view that, saving someone from running into a highway as assault, for putting my belt, thank god I was wearing a belt, to be able to hold them I wasn't grabbing them, I wasn't...
she took a weapon on me, and I brought her to the ground. Another day had passed, things had been going all right. Did I run after her? Yes, I did. I cared for that person very much. And I was worried that they were going to harm themselves. In the same way that I am worried that the people who I also know who are involved in other... Whatever it is that you want to call it. I'm not a drama person. I'm a can we be on the same page person. I brought up the wrong topic in your opinion at a dinner in which the topic that I brought up I didn't know very much about and I was trying to just come from the whole situation from a place of peace and from a place where I am also a person who has dealt with sexual abuse in my own life and it's It's impossible to, for some people to open themselves and realize that the other people involved are spreading their pain. They are going through some sort of something too that we don't have the means to properly equip the world because all, all we seem to concentrate on withholding things is like psychologists can't leave their office for example thank god that tenants have forms of mediation or whatever else but there's no social service sort of phone number to give a call and say hi I need just need someone to make sure that this doesn't get out of hand and to allow for us to share a little bit or, or not I don't I don't want to force anyone to say or do anything that they don't want to do I never want to hear words that aren't wanted to come out my dream is to stand just in the vicinity of these people and just wait. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I should just live that dream. Find a public place. problem is any type of gesture or whatever else is like what is what is the grand gesture? How do I how do I be in a person's life who wants me to be out of their life? But I can't be out of their life until I get caught up as to what exactly happened in their mind, in their perception, in their reality? Why do they have such disdain for me? What is it that occurred? Where are we now is the more important thing. Is there anything that I can do to help? Is there anything that I can do to honor you? Is there anything that I can do to show you that I know that there has been pain in your life as well. And I know that for some of you, quite literally, is that leads back for me for losing my job and 
a sense of self. I was lucky that I escaped all of that and I felt loved and normal. And, but I also felt hugely judged. I became more paranoid. Especially with work stuff. Not not necessarily paranoid, it's more um, touchy because I, I was worried that something similar would, would happen again, so you kind of overcompensate and I gave the impression to people that I wasn't going to be able to hold a job again with certain personalities. I know that my mother felt that way too. Even though I was doing everything in my power to be alive and well, that didn't mean much to people. It didn't mean much that I went out of my way to go back to my own job. It didn't mean much that Every other time that I remembered to put my dog in the spot I did, doesn't mean much that I respect the fact that counseling may not have been a thing for me. I just wanted to understand where, where we were and how we got there so fast. And I think the more that I think about it, the more I put blame on not just myself and my own behavior after we got back and on all the shit we put in the for engagement party and not just my part in it, not the party itself, but all of my family members parts and the fact that at least after all of it that's that's still very much something that I gotta go through the Let's see. Yeah. I hope that this microphone is good enough to pick up what I'm saying. what I'm saying is, is that there are many variables in the world, and sometimes why we're upset, especially if we're using people as scapegoats, the reason for the fact that we are upset is that there are other conditions in the world that are happening, and to be open and honest with people about those conditions allows for them to be able to like change the subject or like be a little cheery, light a candle, maybe uh, leave you alone for a little while, go on a bike ride, you need to be honest and whatever with your needs and I'm sorry but my needs I can't give what you need until we are on the same page. I can't keep waking up with this pain day in, day out. I, it's taken everything for me to, it's not even about like 
a relationship with any of these people. It's about the fact that if this is how they're treating their friends, who might be on the wrong page, who might need some help because they're a slow reader, and I have a slow processing disorder, and I also have an have a what do you want to call it? I get my news from human beings. And then sometimes I look up some of what they're talking about. And maybe I click on the wrong video or something. Right? Like this freaking whatever guy too that my friend now is telling me, oh, oh my god, you, you supported that Jordan whatever guy? And I'm like, no, I was just saying, like, he's got a point. It's kind of weird if we incited a law that forced Canadians to have, like, speech whatever. I didn't really know all of what was going on, but, like, when you don't know what's always going on, and you talk to someone about, like, what you know so far, sometimes other people tell you what a little bit more about what it is that maybe you don't know. I like to think of that as a conversation. Um, but I can't be all-knowing and all-loving and all... I don't give anyone the benefit of the doubt. Everything is just about text messages and highlights and whatever else. And we all know for a fact that sending a text message is like 7% of what human communication is. So I don't know what percentage it is that you want to mark up the communication that we've had in these few people since the last time that I physically saw you in reality and one person in particular has told me that so much has happened and I don't know what that means and I don't need to know what it means but it would be nice if they felt compelled to at least let me know what that meant. Maybe they can send me a video, a private message. Maybe they don't need to. Maybe I can book the noir dinner thing and just have everybody come and sit down and all. I don't even have to eat. physically be there in reality together and not have to look at each other in the pitch dark and that would help. All I know is that for me sometimes it feels really difficult to deal with the parts of my life that are the reality that whether I want to believe it or not that I had played part in and I'm doing my best to be accountable for my actions and be able to evolve together and come to a greater understanding of who we are as people. I don't throw people away and I don't believe in people. So sometimes people just drift away but when there's This isn't something that has happened in my life where a person that I care very much for is refusing to allow me to be seen or for allowing me to hear your, your perception, your thoughts, your, where you are, why you know that I'm a piece of shit fucking evil, whatever it is, I'm trying to remember all the words that were used for me. And that's okay, that's going to be 
if that's who I am, that's that's fine. But like, I'm not a murderer. I'm not a. I'm not a. At most, for a time, I would probably be within the realm of the verbal assaultant. I thought that I I think of it more as just, I mean, hold, hold on, to an extent, to an extent. And I'm thinking about it here as a me brain, right now, Joe. A lot of little things that people don't realize that they do that build up. I'm not talking about the people that they might do that with. I'm not talking about those things too. That's that's up to them. I've never owned anyone. I've never tried to own anyone. But I was given an opportunity in my relationship to try and distinguish what it was that we wanted, and apparently we wanted to try and make this work, but we never finished the counseling during the break time, and then I got ripped out of being able to, to see them, which I assume the reason is for is because of my parents needed hospitalization, which I got out in 10 days. Like, they assessed me and then realized they probably shouldn't, should have been listening to me because my foot was actually broken. Because when I politely let them know that uh, since the psychiatrist is not in the building today, then I'll come back for an appointment. I, I wasn't aware of the fact that there were going to be holding me and that there was a 72 day, 72 hour hold minimum. Okay? No one disclosed any of this to me. Even when I calmly, I said, this is what I do when I see police or whatever around I believe in. And I'm like, trying to become. Can you please tell me what F1 one is, please? I'd like to know what that means, and why is it that you are denying my ability to leave this place? And I never got the answer to that. I never sued them. I never, you know, brought any legal bullshit on them for the fact that I'm still in rehabilitation for my foot. When you break a bone, it's like, I'm not with you forever. And <laughs> in the same respect, like <laughs> I'm not the only one involved in what was frustrating situations. Not even frustrating situations, like... I can't be the only person in the room brave enough to speak what is inside their mind, which doesn't mean that what's in their mind is an, uh, an opinion that is forever an opinion. I'm not a, a the type of adult that is unchanging and whatever else. I've always been open. I didn't know that... When I started the relationship that I had, I even told, I even said out loud, like, I read an article that blah, 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 and people don't change after this time. So I guess, like, 
you get what you get with me. And I'm sure that that stuck. I'm sure that that stuck. I'm sure that the fact that my family all had stuff bubbling under the skin enough that they just needed a catalyst to be able to have a family-wide feud while I left the house after I did something that I didn't need to do, but pushing buttons is like my brother's professional job, and I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of him being allowed to run the show by just doing things that are awful. And it's not about the things anymore, it's about the fact that they do these awful things. Like, accuse people of stealing, or, like, I'm just gonna use a couple, I don't need to use more examples. No one stole anything from me. You fucking have no sense of what a family member is, what a person who is your friend. There's no such thing as friends anymore, apparently. In this day and age, I was told by a 20-something, okay, like, maybe I should believe them. I'm not enough of a millennial to, to know what goes on nowadays. People don't believe in each other anymore. People hardly believe in themselves, but they... I'm trying very hard to, and I think that what I'm doing, I think that coming to this place now as a person who is able to get on stage and tell a few jokes and try and bring peace to the world, try and bring a little bit, I don't know what else I can do in my sets. I got my harmonica. always been like a camp counselor, comedian, slash, whatever, and I try my best to be a diplomat, and I try my best to not get angry, but sometimes I wish that one of these would have been used. I wish that I would have found medication that could have helped me during times that became more and more exponentially out of hand by just existing and having to deal with. I think after after I lost my job, maybe it was more obvious to me all the little bullshit that I had to deal with, and that's probably why my partner was shocked that I didn't realize that this and that and that happened all the time. Maybe I wasn't sensitive to certain aspects of the workplace prior to my job loss and the PTSD-like symptoms of my adjustment disorder, I guess, which uh, apparently might have gotten chronic, but I don't, I don't, I don't feel unhealthy even though I don't want to leave the house. It's not about not wanting, it's more about I don't feel like I need to leave the house. And, but I know that I do need to leave the house to keep in good health. And, you know, it's not good for your, your mental state and stuff like that. I, mean, so I have been going out there and <laughs> You know, and I think that this is a good example. I, I found some guy saying racist things in a deli. Uh, at the and I didn't know, I didn't even know that there was a meat counter back there, so I, I just listened to what was going on for a little while. And this person I'm for using a balloon or something, and they're something about serving his superior race. <laughs> like, fucking people, man. So, 
I told them I'd never been back there before, and it looks like a nice, a nice place to get some meat, nice and clean back there and everything, too. I'll see you later, see you next time. I didn't look at the guy, and I didn't... whatever, and I just offered kindness to the people that needed love and kindness, and I think that if I can remember that, it's it's kind of funny because I think it's like a subconscious thing ever since I got into this like new... I think once somebody graphically shows you the like... <laughs> the whatever you want to call it, I don't know if it's energy states or whatever, but it's like shame, guilt, anger, um, like all these other things, and then it gets up to like courage and uh, courage, love, and joy are some of the last ones, and enlightenment, I guess, might be one, I forget, there's a few that I'm missing. But, um, yeah, I think if you can physically see the separation of those energy levels and, like, know consciously what that means, sometimes people need an extra kick, and honestly, I don't think that I could have done it without being in the amount of grief that I have been in and using the drugs that I have used to help to, like, sometimes people say, call it, like, resetting to your baby brain or something like that. It's like, I don't, I don't use that much mushrooms. I've, I've done it about four or five times, and I've always done, like, probably about point two give or take grams each time, <laughs> right? So, like, when when people hear you say, like, oh, yeah, yeah, take about a quarter of a gram. When you say quarter in bread terms, especially, like, for people that use things like mushrooms uh, in a more recreational thing, I mean, I guess I might as well try that at some point, but it's scary to me to think, like, what the hell, you guys could eat grains? That's crazy. To me, that's crazy. Like, I think next time I might go to, like, half a gram or, like, a full one or something. Like, maybe I'll make it up each time, but the, the whole not seeing what this physical reality is, I don't I don't want that. And like... I don't know. Maybe I'm scared, but... I was at a friend's place in Alberta one time and they gave me... They gave me a bit of, um... Salvia. Okay? And... I didn't know what was coming. I basically, like, lit it and put it in my mouth. I thought we were, like, smoking pot and, like, having a hang and going out for dinner. He was like, here you go, just smoke that. And, like, it's still... It's still an experience that I look to... I personally would, I don't, I don't like the feeling of, like, being folded into yourself or, like, falling, like, it's like the, like, <laughs> but, like, was it fun for watching my buddy Greg, uh, inventing the universe on his texting machine? That was kind of that was kind of cool. It wasn't kind of cool when I got a knife pulled on me by the other person there. 
that, if anything, that story might help you do stuff like that with people that you know and trust and, um, because some people might have, like, adverse effects, I guess. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend the selfish to be completely honest, like, I don't, I don't know, um, at least, at least drugs like that, like mushrooms, and I assume salvia too, they're not, they're not, like, addictive substances, they're just sort of, like, Apparently, if you if you take a bigger dose, it's like one of those things where you might not need to do it again for like a year or two to to keep your. It's like ego separation or something, you know. And I guess when I got more frustrated, I had more like. There was like lawyer deadline things and whatever else, and like the, the job person, they're like, you gotta do this, and you misunderstood this way, and it was just like there was a lot coming at me, even though it wasn't like actually coming at me. Like it was, it was like it felt so much more. It's a different time. It's a different time. Things can, things can change quickly and... <laughs> I mean, now, like, in the same respect, they, they can change back pretty quickly, too. And that's not always a good thing, because when you, when you change back, sometimes you end up falling into, like, old patterns and routines and whatever else, especially when you haven't, like, fully shared with each other how certain aspects of how you are or how you do or whatever else is some, somewhat bothersome to someone else. And, like, maybe what, what is, what is that, the underneath this feeling? Like, it's, it sounds stupid, but it's like, I, I know that, I know that, I was left for a number of reasons that built into this, like, general not feeling super solid in the relationship thing. And it came at a time during the star stuff that, like, was voicing for independence. If, uh, whether or not you were in a relationship, I mean, if you were in a relationship, then I, I like to think that I did pretty well given the circumstances and the fact that I was who I was. And I was, I was dealing with more than just family stuff, more than just what am I, you know, what can I get a teaching job here? Also, why, why am I, I would get into situations where I don't even know why I'm angry. The only thing that really is sitting with me right now with that is the frustration that I, I can't be a part of. We have to close the chapter yet, and I'll be there for it. Anyways, good morning.
Meow, 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 the cat goes meow, goodbye. Yeah.